The first part of our uh, addressing the court was in relation to the fact that it is a complaint about the way we are given the short end of the stick in the, uh, in the timing and the amount of time provided to us to prepare our defence. Now, the reason why we put it up front is not because we are complaining to this court, because you can't, but we want to put it forward to this court because this court is still hearing the case. So because it hasn't, in a manner of speaking, risen for the day from the court proceeding, it is still able, uh, if, it, uh, if the court hears us loudly, the court is still able to cure and bring relief to the situation and prevent an unfair trial from happening. So that is why we address those issues. <laughs> We have got very little time to interview the 63 witnesses, right? This is not including about 100 odd witnesses, which the prosecution has refused to disclose. You see, they interviewed more than 63. They interviewed uh, another set of 120 odd witnesses, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? Some of these witnesses are untraceable or have absconded, uh, or unknown where they are. But recording of their statement has been taken, including Joe Lowe, Nick Faisal, and so on. So we are questioning what is wrong if the prosecution revealed to us, because it is a public document, what is wrong if the prosecution revealed to us these documents that may assist us in our defence, because after all, the prosecution is to prosecute. They are not to persecute. So if they have this information that may assist us, we feel that it is their duty to disclose it to us.